This episode of On Q is brought to you by Lacasse, featuring three new limited edition custom cues. Exquisite beauty and performance is showcased in these limited cues from Lacasse, where only 25 of each model will be produced. In today's episode, Rick and I will show you how to put a tip on using our deluxe tip repair kit. Um, it's the best way we've found to put a tip on if you're like most people and don't have a lathe at home. First thing you want to do is just cut the old tip off as close to the ferrule as you can without actually getting into the ferrule would be a good idea. Okay, then you just want to grab your Q-top sander, attach it to your ferrule, screw it down snug. It doesn't have to be real tight. Just want to hold it into place. Throw that on. Turn it around. Flattens the ferrule to a nice 90 degree angle. It gives a good base. When putting a tip on it, like a 13 millimeter shaft, a lot of people think, well, I need a 13 millimeter tip. The problem with that is if you're lining up 13 millimeters to 13 millimeters and using this glue that we have in the kit, you only get one shot and the odds of you lining that tip up perfect is impossible. So we always use like a 14 millimeter tip so that way it's way oversized from the ferrule. So no matter if it's a little off center or not, when you cut the edges off, you're going to be able to get it right down to the ferrule to where it looks perfect like it was built for it. Then you want to prepare your tip and what we do is we just use the Q-top sander bottom, just rub it back and forth. It roughs up the surface. It gives a little better adhesion for the glue. When applying the glue to the tip, you just want to cover the tip with the glue, get an even spread around, and have it so it's a nice even coverage. Um, then you want to take the accelerator that comes with the kit and spray it on the ferrule. What that does, it creates a heck of a bond. So when you put these two together, you really want to make sure you get it lined up because there's not, there's no other chance. I mean, that's it. Apply a little pressure with your thumb, and that tip is glued. Now what we want to do is we want to come back with a paper towel or something. You're going to have some glue where it comes out, and just wipe up so it goes back up into the tip. That gets any residue glue off the ferrule, and you end up with a real clean job now, and now you're prepared for the... Uh, just prepare to trim the tip to get it ready to go. Okay, now you want to grab your uh, porper mushroom grazer and basically all we're going to do is take the 14 millimeter tip down a little closer to 13 millimeter and then that's where the cut right will take over. And you want to stay away from your ferrule here. There's no need to get close or anything like that. You're just bringing down the diameter to where we can get it into the cut right. Okay, and then for the final trimming of the tip we go with the uh, corporate cut right trimmer and you just want to go with real small strokes here you don't need to take out too much if you try to take out too much you could gouge your ferrule it takes a little touch so we recommend practicing with a house cue or something on this part but as you can see it gets right down to the ferrule real flush and uh, gets us ready for to clean it up a little bit and go on with the next one okay if you have a little bit of uh, glue say on the ferrule or something you can just take some 420 grip paper, just go over the ferrule lightly, it won't take much, and just get it started. Um, we like to finish it up with the cue papers. Um, it's not included in this kit, but you'll probably have some laying around anyway. There you go. As you can see, it just cleans it right up. Okay, now for a finishing touch to burnish the sides of the tip. You'll wet it. I ain't going to tell you what Rick wetted that wet. But, uh... <laughs> You'll want to wet the sides of the tip. And then we use the pour for burnisher. It does a great thing. It's got a conical inside to it. It's a hard plastic. And the heat of the friction and the moisture just gets pushed right into the tip. And it gives it a nice, really nice glossy finish to it. Well, there we got the tip on and everything set. The sides are burnished. Final touch. Just shape your tip to the, to the shape that you want. A lot of people use a dime. A lot of people use a nickel. We prefer the dime around here. Um, that's pretty much it. Get her scuffed up. The more scuffed up, the better. It's going to hold shock, of course. And there you go. Finished tip with our kit that you got here. Um, takes a little practice. I mean, don't go out and try it on your $1,500 custom queue. Do some house cues first, but I think with enough practice, you're going to get some really good results. I almost forgot the most important step. Shock your queue. Later.